the mobile phone stop it start and motor will run at 40 percent slow it down i can do so stop the motor will stop start at stop also you can change the direction this is an application where you can uh, control the speed of motor slowing it down or speeding it up and also you can change the direction by clicking clockwise counterclockwise and then stopping or starting the motor so we have a lot of controls on the screen here i'm going to show you how we can control a dc motor using l2988 module with node mcu uh, d1 mini asp8266 over the wi-fi speed up or we will slow it down you can get the data sheet and other files related to this by clicking at the link below the video in the description which will take you to robojax.com slash learn slash arduino let's get started with this i've seen a, a lot of requests and demand for uh, controlling dc motor speed of dc motor over wi-fi with esp8266 so i'm using this l298 in module i've written library for this so it will make it make it very easy to control this uh, you have to watch the introduction to this uh, module l298 in with my library the link will be below this video make sure to run and control a dc motor before coming to this code so you should be able to control a dc motor with the code with this module once you're successful then make sure to run a simple hello world with this module only without a motor and uh, once that is successful if you have issue with that i have separate video explaining how to get started i have two version video one is um, like three or four minutes just show you immediately to connect and use this the other video is full detail of node mcu and also a separate video for d1 mini so make sure to watch the, those video and make sure that you succeed with connecting it over the wi-fi after that then you can um, come here and combine both these codes so you will be able to control the a motor i've created this interface with two push buttons here or two switches one is called faster when you press it it increases in increment of 10 and in the code you can also change it so you can go in increment of five and also uh, also you can set the minimum because some motors at certain percent will not run this is a percent of speed of motor not the uh, password modulation value so don't worry just put zero means stop 100 means 100 percent speed because the library will take care of the conversion so you can set the minimum also in the code let's say your motor starts at 15 percent so set minimum to 15 and when you press this it will never go below that value now right now it is zero, zero so you, it can go to zero as you can see if you this is adjustable according to the screen if you have a smaller screen like say a mobile phone it will perfectly fit in the mobile phone as well here is a wiring diagram for l298n module with single motor to the node mcu or to the d1 mini doesn't matter they're th exactly the same in terms of numbers that you see on them the battery which can be any voltage up to 35 volts depending on the motor battery uh, motor voltage will be connected the positive will be connected to this terminal which is labeled as 12 volts the ground will be connected to the ground from the ground i have one wire connected to the ground of this module or any other module that you have as long as it is esp8266 and then the 5 volts will be connected to vn if uh, usb is not connected so remove it when you're programming it once programming is done you can connect it so we're just avoiding uh, flow of current in some modules there is no diode and the current will flow between them it's just waste of resources or maybe heat up and burn your module and for this three pin or to control the motor that is connected on this side this is motor one and these are the pins and that's for motor two and those are the three pins the enable pin enable a is connected using orange wire to the d8 and n1 is connected to d7 and n2 is connected to d6 if these pins are somewhere else doesn't matter just connect it in to those pins and it will work fine 
Let me now explain the wiring. I've connected this positive at this point. These, these two wires are my battery. Uh, the positive is connected here, the negative is connected here. These two wires, this go to my battery. And the voltage that I'm connecting for the battery determines by this motor. If the motor is 12 volts, connect 12 volts. If it is 24 volts, connect 24 volts. It will work with up to 35 volts. And I have separate video explaining that, so I'm not going to go through that. Then from the negative at this point, this is connected to the negative of the, this module or the negative of this module to the ground. So you have to connect it to the ground. You must connect otherwise it, otherwise it will not work. If you're connecting it via USB, that's fine. If you remove it from USB, then you can use this 5 volts here. This will give you 5 volts out. Let's say you, in, you enter here, you connect 6 volts up to 35 volts. In any case, you will get always 5 volts here. And this 5 volts can feed to this module. Both of these have VU, VU, so you can connect external power via VN from this, but you can connect VN. Let me show you first the voltage, 5 volts of this. I have separate video explaining how to connect the voltage of different pens. The link will be below this video. This motor is connected to this point. This is motor 1. If you're connecting motor 2, it will be here. So this code is for motor 1. This is the enable pen. Enable pen is connected to D8. This uh, is in 1 is connected to 7 and in 2 is connected to pin 6. And if you're using this, exactly the same. We have D8, D7, D6. Same way. If you're using this type of D1 mini, again we have D8, D7, D6. Accordingly, this will be connected to D8, D7, and D6. Let me explain now the code. First thing that you need to do is download this file and place it, place it in the same folder as the actual UNO file. For example, if this is your file, the .h file should be here. If you do not see the .h, the reason for that would be that you have set the extension to be hidden and you can click on start. Just type folder FOLD and you will see file explorer option. And here on this view tab, you see here after these two buttons on the left side, the third one, the third one it says hide extension for known file type. Pay attention, I'm checking it. Now it means hide it. So this H and INO will be hidden if I apply you will see that it is hidden. So that would be the case that your computer is set like that. I always need to know the extension. So uncheck and apply and you will see we have the extension file. So you put that H file in this location. I will explain that later. So let's start from the top. In the code we use D0 which is referring to pin 16, GPIO 16. This is D1 referring to 5 because many boards do not have this labeling. All the boards have always these numbers, so we type this. But some boards, for example, for example, this Lolin D1 Mini, it has label as D1, D2 on this side. All of them are with D, but on this side, they put the actual number. For example, if you pay attention here, this is 16. 16 must be D0, the third pen. Let's just see it. And as you can see, it says D0. So in some modules, you will not see that. For example, in uh, this Node MCU, they always have this uh, D, D, D. So for that reason, I provide you this map. Always in all your code, just copy and paste it at the top. So it refers to, the spe to those pens. So this is, we map pens to proper pen based on whatever is the label. This is the motor library that I have written. You should have watched the video prior coming to this video, and this should be included. After that, these are exactly the same as the way that we set up the motor, but we have just defined D, D6, D7, D8. This is the enable pen or password modulation control pen. And we have defined this constant. This is the same as the original code, and here, we are using only one motor in this case, and we define the default direction. 
CW in the upcoming uh, lecture which we control the direction this will change but for now we set it like that and we are defining motor 1 as digit 1 do not change this instance of the class we call it motor sorry and then we pass in 1 and 2 and E and A and as I mentioned if you don't want to see the debugging just uncomment this uh, remove that uh, true and you will not see the comments that usually come here this one if you change if you remove it you will not see those and this is the uh, value that you type on your module to access it and then step change this is the step value every time you press this to speed up as you can see this is now five every step it goes five 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 so that is the value that you're changing if you want it two, make it two if you want it 10 or 20 change it accordingly and then output value this is the initial value that when you load your browser that's the value that you see R right now it, it is at 45 as you can see so um, if I close this and open it if I upload this it will be the value that you set so this is what we call initial value of the motor if you want it a zero it will be zero motor minimum speed this is the value that when you reduce the speed this is a value that motor can go at the minimum for example right now if I press this it doesn't go below 20 because it has been set here at 20 if you wanted this one to go to 0 set it to 0 or any other value, other value that you want this was a file that I just mentioned it, when you include it here it's always shown as a tab here so you can go and work with it which I will explain next so this is the page that displays the value on the screen for us actually this is an HTML page uh, this page all these values or majority of these are have been taken directly from here if you go to file examples and then scroll down to under the ESP8266 it says web server and one of this like advanced web server or hello world server any of this so this has been taken from there and here we are defining your uh, Wi-Fi SSID in my case is RoboJax and then the password this is my temporary password when I record the video I turn it on so I'm not worried if you know it I just disconnect it turn it off when the recording is done so change it accordingly and this is by the way case sensitive I when if I type it with small r it will not work this section I have set here a new string uh, we call it HTML page equals speed control page part one and we have these values which I will explain immediately later and here are some handle not found if the page or some command that requested from the web server is, if it is not found this will just display something on the screen which we are not worried about inside the setup this is the important one motor.begin this is the code that I have included from my motor library this was exactly the same as it is I have not changed it and here I have changed this to access name before there was ESP8266 inside the quotation like this inside the quotation but I put access name access name is the value that I explained in here access name so this will fill that area for us which was uh, around line 131 in here and this is the line that I've uh, added here it says server on and on what condition on slash speed if somebody types slash slash speed this is the one when it is slash speed with some parameters as soon as it sees slash speed this will kick in and if it, it, the type is get the type of request when you type an, uh, an address on the URL it's a get type we say go to this function handle motor speed which again I will have to explain it immediately right now after this, these lines and if it is not found and 
um, server dot begin will initialize the server server will start it and here inside the loop this was original these were the two original line and here motor dot rotate so this is controlling our motor and here we type the motor uh, number and output value this is a value every time you send uh, that touch from this to values that is where it uh, reflects and direction of the, of the motor is a value that we set above as I said CW or CCW and there is nothing else this is just commented and I this was I was just testing with this so let me remove it and we need to have 100 millisecond because this need a little time to apply the speed to the motor if you remove it the motor will not re respond the module so make sure to have this in mind and the loop is done continuously loop will monitor the, these value and take these actions now when we when i said handle speed monitor uh, handle motor speed this is a function that i have written and here argue if, if server argument do is equal slower let me show you here if i press you see if i bring uh, my mouse over pay attention here at the bottom it shows do slower if i click it and now you'll see speed question mark question mark means after this there are arguments and then do equal slower so every time you press slower it reduces it now let's see what happens here if the argument do is equal slower this two equal signs mean compare so you put your variable here and put the equal value if it is the case then we get the output value and subtract the change step the change step is the one that i explained above which was 5 or 10 or whatever value you change so this subtracts uh, the step which is 5 or 10 from the value so this will slow down the motor and here we, are, we take care of it because sometimes if you go below it will go to negative now we take care of that and we say if the value is if this value is smaller than this then the value should be equal that it doesn't allow it lower than that as I mentioned this motor speed is a value that you set here and you cannot set it uh, less than zero so you should set it between zero to hundred percent and here else means if do is not equal slower it's anything else if it is uh, faster then output value is plus the change step which is 5 or 10 we are adding 10 so this will happen right now we see 20 if I click it it goes to 25 so 5 is added as you can see 5 is added every step and then slower will subtract 5 because the step is set 5 and here we check if the value is greater than 100 then we set it to 100 because above 100 has no meaning so this will correct the value as well and at the end we have handle root so this will go and again print the whole page updates the value and prints the page on the screen or displays it with a new value so the user will see the updated value have been reflected Let me now demonstrate it. I've connected it now to this uh, D1 Mini. This is the same chip. The code will work absolutely with all. I'm going to demonstrate it with the other one. And here from the serial monitor, we see that this is IP address that where you can access our module. And here, if we come here at the browser and we type that IP address 192.168.1 and then 100, you will see that we are getting this. But this you need to know it every time that you run it you have to check it here and make sure sometimes uh, the DHCP server or your router will assign different IP and it will be bothering you for that reason we don't need to use that so we will use the word here whatever you type that will be available so in this case RoboJax ESP8266 I'm just copying it and let's type it here and as you can see it didn't work because I, I did not put HTTP colon uh, slash slash and then if I put that now we can access that this is a serial monitor that shows that the motor speed is at 40% it also prints it here at 40% and here I'm gonna 
speed this up now it says 50% you see the bar graph at 50% Now it's 100%. Now it's at 20%. I've set the minimum for this at 20%. The minimum speed is set here. If we want to set it at 0%, you can do so. So this is now at 40%. Let me refresh the page or reopen it it's at 40 percent as you can see so if i speed it up it speeds up 50 percent slow it down 30 percent now i'm going down below 20 as you can see i knew that at 20 percent this motor will stop but we can go absolute zero And now I've connected this node MCU. There are different versions. The number of pens are different, but the chip is exactly the same ESP8266. So do not worry. Even if you get this or a different version, all of them will work. Here, slow it down. Speed up, or maybe just keep it at 80%. Now it's continuously running at 80%. The direction of rotation is set in the code. It's in only one direction. And here is a demonstration of controlling it from the mobile phone. very responsive 100 percent now i'm going to change the step increment and make it five meaning that every time you press the steps in here instead of 10 it will go 5 let me upload the code here is a demonstration of step of 5 I've changed it in code now if I increase this you will see it will go in an increment of 5 I'm going 65 70 75 80 also it shows here in the serial monitor let me press it continuously zero and the motor is totally stopped now as you can see at 10 percent it's not rotating 15 20 barely moves 25 stars rotating so you can go inside the code and perhaps change it here is the minimum if you change it let's say to 20 20 percent it will never go below that 20. library is loaded and we are connected now we got connected so if i increase this 40 you see the jump because the previous value was there initial value that you set in the code was 40 with an application where you can uh, control the speed of motor slowing it down or speeding it up and also you can change the direction by clicking clockwise counterclockwise and then stopping or starting the motor so we have a lot of controls on the screen here
Let me explain the code. This is in continuation of the first part of the motor control where you could just speed up and slow down. I've just added the change of direction and start stop. So I will not explain everything for the full details. Please watch my other lecture, which I have explained everything. For changing the direction, this value will be updated within the code later on. And the rest of the code is the same. Here I've added this variable, motor one stop state high. When stop is high, which means uh, stop applied, so the motor will be stopped at initial condition. If you wanted initially to run, um, change this to low, and the motor will go with the whatever value you set here at the minimum speed and the output value. And then this is a file that you need to control the speed of motor which is the page. I will explain this next, which is now in here. These part HTML page is exactly the same. And here I've added after this, this line, which was the initial code. Now I have added this with slash direction. When you, at the browser, when you type after the main uh, address, you type slash direction and handle motor direction. This is one function and stop handle motor break. So these are the two more functions that I've written and I've added to the code. This loop is exactly the same. And let me go with the motor speed I've explained it before. And here for the direction, if you pay attention at the lower portion when I mouse over, you see that we are reading CW. If I go to CCW, you see that we are uh, uh, sending the command DIR equals CCW. And if I click the CCW, also you will see here DIR is equal CCW. And if I click CW, the address meaning also you can type it like this and press enter, it will work. The motor will change the direction. If the IR is equal to CCW, we, the value that we have defined above will be set to CW and motor will change the direction. Else means the IR is equal not CW but CCW or something else and it will go to the change the direction will change to CCW. And CW and CCW are two variables that we have defined here. that is used by the library. So don't worry about it. I'm going back to line 200. And after that, we have the motor break. Now, let me show you when you up click on stop, pay attention to the lower portion. It says do equal stop, so slash stop. I'm clicking it and you see here, it says slash stop. And then do equal stop. And then if I click on start, slash stop is equal do equal start so do equal start and, and do equal stop will cause the motor to start and stop and here we, we, we check if do is equal start then motor one will set the code of the at the top as high it will set to low so this way the motor will start running else it will set to high and the motor will run in both cases we are running handle root and in this case also handle root for the direction change. So the this page is updated. And now if I show you the code, I'm pressing control U. This is exactly the same code as the main speed control code. The only different thing is that I've added, this was for the slower and faster. And I've copied and pasted here and it is CW, CCW, and here direction, I put slash, this was slash speed. Now we have slash direction, and then argument of question mark DIR equals CW, and then argument of DIR equals CCW. And then I've copied and pasted here with horizontal uh, ruler with this text, and after that, stop, do equal start, and stop, do equal stop. So slash stop will take care of the start and stop, and slash direction will take care of the direction and slash speed will take care of the speed.
this is the file uh, that I've just shown you that the code and here it is a part of the header file all of the values are here except I have split it exactly the same as before this is speed control part 1 speed control part 2 and then speed control part 3 so these are the internal code and these are the interface of the push button here is now the demonstration if I reboot this and press the restart button you will see that here it says scanning and if I stop the scroll you will see that it says this is the IP address but this is not easy I'm going just to the Robojax ESP8266 which I have explained in the code and here is a page ESP8266 I'm pressing enter and that's the screen that we are getting Jill is powered up and 40% was the original value for this but the state was as stop so I have to click start and motor will run at 40% now and if I want to slow it down I can do so I press stop the motor will stop start again and without stop also you can change the direction you see the motor is changing the direction Uh, pay attention this is a break break means it stops very quickly and here is a demonstration of it using a mobile phone I'm in the same Wi-Fi network as this one stop it start it change the direction speed it up And this was how to control a DC motor with L298N module with Node MCU with ESP8266. Either uh, the 